Check out thechosenprime.com in the link in the description below for this and other great items. All right, everyone, welcome to another RFC Reviews. This time we have Titans Return Bumblebee from the Legends series. Legends being the scale, not Legends being the Takara series. That is different. It is confusing, but it's different. Uh, he is a seven step transformer, and on the back of the packaging, you can see some art of Bumblebee in his vehicle mode and in his alternate mode. Uh, and it says his bio is the least likely can be the most dangerous. Um, there's one problem with that they didn't even give him a weapon. All he comes with in the packaging is his instructions himself and the collector's card which is very nice it's a nice picture of this bumblebee um, whoever did the art did a great job and his firepower is one gee I wonder why that is they didn't give him a gun he's very intelligent he's up to an eight his speed is four and his strength is two uh, it's not the best of specs for someone who's supposed to be the, the, you know, supposedly the next leader of the Autobots, if the movies have their way. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at him. Um, a lot of people are so-so uh, on this guy, and I gotta say, I'm, I'm actually really impressed. I didn't think I would be with this, um... Not that he's a great Bumblebee, he's an okay Bumblebee, but I think some of the engineering is really nice in this uh, figure. Uh, you have, you know, his arms on a ball joint, his shoulder, due to transformation, can go up and down, uh, so you can go out that far, or that far if you're not using that extra joint. Bottom arm is on a ball joint. Legs on a ball joint, no waist rotation or swivel. Knees, you can get uh, kind of 90, maybe. Maybe, you know, there's a bend in that part of the leg, so it's hard to say if that's 90 or not. We'll give it like, you know, 85. That's what we'll give it. So, and then that's it. You just have the bottom of the feet. And everything's ball joints pretty much. The head is on a swivel, so it can only go left or right. No up or down. Get real close on the face sculpt. I do like the face. Uh, you know, nice Autobot symbol on the chest. There is some difference in the yellow between the chest and the arms. Um, I actually thought it was going to be worse. It's not the worst I've seen. It's not the best I've seen. It's okay um in my opinion and just the back i mean it's got a pretty clean back of course there's some hollowness in his head and his waist and uh, he does have a peg port so you can you know peg him into something if you want um but not, not bad uh he's really not bad and the one thing i really like about this is the engineering so let's go ahead and get into transformation first thing you want to do is uh kind of just lift up the head that will release this whole chest section, and the chest section will fold out. And that's basically the top half of the car. And what I really thought's neat about this is a lot of times they do it in the back. And then you have that backpack, which just, you know, so this is the first car I've actually seen. And I'm sure someone will leave me in a comment below reminding me of something else. But this is the first one I've seen that actually like folds into the chest. Uh, to kind of hide the rest of the car, which I think is really neat. Uh, I hope they use this on a deluxe class uh, down the road, because I really do like this engineering trick that they do. Um, but again, uh, we'll raise this up. When you lift the head up, there's that one joint right there. At the second joint, you just want to fold it again. And that'll lift his head up just a little bit. The arms, you want to straighten these out. Just like so. Again, you can flip this whole 
section out of his back and then the legs you're going to straighten them out they're going to tab in and collapse in just like so and they will also tab in so there you have the front half of the car done and then all we have to do is get the arms in there's two tabs right here little tab right there little tab right there that'll slot in just like so same thing on this side get that tabbed in and then you bring the roof section down it'll go over top of these doors and then the back section right back here will clip in right there and there and then you just gotta squeeze bumblebee all together and door panels may need to be aligned kind of have to squeeze and adjust uh, however you see fit and there you have bumblebee in his in his vehicle mode and it's it's a really nice you know vehicle it's not necessarily bumblebee-ish to me but it's like bumblebee hit you know turned 40 and had kids and needed some extra space in the back uh, it's not really the Bumblebee. I guess it's a little bit closer to uh, like a VW Bug than a Camaro. So I guess it is Bumblebee in that respect. Um, but there you can see a little bit of color variation between the roof and the back of the car and the legs. Uh, you can really see it on the side there. But like I said... It's, it's not even coming up that bad on camera. Some of these gaps uh, kind of don't really want to go away. So it's not the cleanest looking car. But he does roll really well. And uh, I think he makes a really nice, really nice, uh, really nice engineering for, you know, we've seen a lot of decent engineering out of these legends that surprise you every once in a while. And for me, this is one of those figures that kind of surprised me just due to oh, there you go his whole chest fell off I'm talking nice about you and you fall apart thanks B come on clip in there you go but yeah it's one of those engineerings that really impressed me and surprised me so definitely a lot happier with this figure than I thought I would be especially just being you know a bumblebee which we have plenty of let's do a size comparison get wheelie in here with him and uh, they yeah they look pretty good together so there you have wheelie with bumblebee and uh, that's it thanks for watching and we'll see you next time make sure you subscribe to the channel and share the video everywhere you can because I can't share it as many places as you guys travel the internet. So please, please share away and uh, make sure you catch us live on tfradio.net backslash live on Wednesdays. And also make sure to check out the T TMDB app on your Android or iOS phone. See you guys next time.